Somebody needs to say this, and it looks like it's going to be me. The Nightly Show sucks. That's right, I said it. For anyone, following an act like The Colbert Report was going to be difficult. But not only has Larry Wilmore not lived up to the task, but The Nightly Show has completely and utterly dropped the ball. This shouldn't surprise anyone given the current state of Comedy Central's lineup, with each new series looking like it was rejected by MTV. But what's shocking is to see how terrible this series has become. On April 10th, 2014, it was announced that Stephen Colbert would replace David Letterman as the host of The Late Show on CBS. With Colbert's departure, that meant Comedy Central would have a half hour at 11.30 to fill. On May 9th, 2014, Comedy Central announced that The Daily Show's longtime senior black correspondent, Larry Wilmore, would be taking over the 11.30 time slot with a new show called The Minority Report. The title will be later changed to The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore, due to 20th Century Fox owning the rights to the name, which they wanted to use for a series based on the 2002 Tom Cruise film. Jon Stewart allegedly pitched the idea of giving Wilmore his own series, saying it would give a voice to an underrepresented segment of the audience. Comedy Central agreed, and with the backing of Stewart, his production company Busboy, and former Daily Show executive producer Rory Albanese, everything was in place for Larry Wilmore to step into the space vacated by Colbert in January of 2015. The January 19th premiere of the show wasn't anything to write home about. Wilmore seemed awkward as he attempted to acclimate himself into the role of host. The show's format also seemed uneven. Wilmore would start the show in front of a monitor, giving a brief rundown of the day's issues, and then switch to a desk where he would give a monologue about the top news stories. After the first commercial break, the show would switch to a roundtable discussion format. The panel often featured a comedian, a so-called expert, one of Larry's writers, and Wilmore himself. Towards the end of the show, Wilmore would have a segment called Keep It 100, where he would ask a question to each panel member, and if he felt they weren't being 100% honest, he'd throw bags of tea at them and call it weak tea. After the first month, to say that the show wasn't good was being kind. By March, the show had become unwatchable. And at least for one guest, it became uncomfortable to be on. On the April 14th, 2015 episode of The Nightly Show, after a heated discussion about the death penalty, where Wilmore said he had no problem executing Boston Marathon bomber Zokarv Sinaev, MSNBC's Alex Wagner seemingly was the only person on the panel, which included comedian Dan Soder and Keith Robinson, to have anything constructive to say on the issue. With the panel descending into a farce and becoming more awkward, Wagner apparently walked out on host Larry Wilmore and the panel. When the show returned from commercial break, Wagner had been apparently been replaced by a random audience member. Both MSNBC and Comedy Central claimed that Wagner had only agreed to participate in the first segment of the panel. However, Wilmore did not inform the audience at any point that Wagner was only to appear in one segment, which only makes her absence more suspicious. Then on April 27, 2015, the show, at least for me, reached a tipping point. During a monologue about Caitlyn Jenner's very public transition into becoming a woman, Wilmore brought out guest Colin Quinn dressed in a Pinocchio costume. Quinn, who looked like he didn't want to be there, and most likely lamenting that he had once had a show on in Wilmore's time slot, told Wilmore about the difficulties of the transition from being a puppet to being a real boy. Naturally, this was my reaction. <laughs> the segment was criticized in the media for being insensitive, but it's also indicative of a larger problem with the show. The Nightly Show has often been criticized for primarily being about race relations. However, with the current state of race relations in the U.S., Wilmore can hardly be blamed for that. The real problem is with Wilmore and the show itself. When he's with The Daily Show as their senior black correspondent, I was a big fan of Wilmore. However, he has failed to make the transition from being a bit player to host. Wilmore's personality is bland, his delivery is flat and feels forced, and in this context, he's just not likable. Wilmore is also nowhere near as engaging as Colbert. Making things worse is the fact that Wilmore has not surrounded himself with a good supporting cast. Contributors Mike Yard, Ricky Velez, Dan Soder, and Shanaz Treasury have absolutely nothing to say in a roundtable format and oftentimes drown out a guest that you want to hear from. But the biggest problem seems to be the show's format itself. With so many other news programs on legitimate news networks using the very same setup, it feels extraneous for a program on a comedy network to do so as well. Which makes you ask the question, is this a comedy program, or is The Nightly Show trying to be a news program? With similar discussion programs already on networks like CNN and MSNBC, viewers don't need to turn to Comedy Central to watch another one. After a strong premiere, The Nightly Show has seen its ratings drop after three months, losing 40% of The Colbert Report's former audience. Since the August 6th departure of Jon Stewart from The Daily Show, the ratings have been in freefall. Wilmore has also lost more than just ratings. His show has been at times completely devoid of guests, 
making it necessary to fill the round table with his writing staff. Most notably absent is Shanash Treasury, who has even had her name removed from the show's official Facebook page. With the return of Stephen Colbert to Late Night, and without Jon Stewart as its lead-in, one has to wonder how long Comedy Central and their parent company Viacom will allow this to go on for. Especially when you consider the backlash that Comedy Central incurred after deciding on Trevor Noah, an unknown quantity, to replace Jon Stewart as host of The Daily Show. In the meantime, Comedy Central has moved up the millennial-based program at midnight to 11 p.m., and is following with new episodes of The Nightly Show. However, if Jon Stewart couldn't help this program, it doesn't seem likely that Chris Hardwick, someone whose success seems to defy all show business logic, could help either. Wilmore could be the proverbial canary in the coal mine. For the time being, Comedy Central is standing by Larry Wilmore and The Nightly Show, calling it a long-term project. But that may just be lip service, as it would appear the situation is far more dire. If The Nightly Show is canceled around Christmas, or even February at the latest, then the clock will be ticking on The Daily Show, and Trevor Noah will be next. By this time next year at 11 p.m. and 11.30, we may be watching reruns of South Park. See you next time.